And now let's review how to install the alarm and how it operates. You should always refer to the 3809G manual for detailed specifics about installation operation. Here we'll review some, some basics. The magnetized float creates a field that is magnetically coupled to the meter's pointer assembly. So the, um, the float internal in the, the piping, or the tube, there's a float that moves up inside and down inside, and that is magnetically coupled to the pointer, okay? So as the float moves up and down, I have a magnet here to simulate the pointer or the float. So as the float moves up and down, the magnetic float, it, the pointer is magnetically coupled. It's not a physical connection, but a magnetic connection. Okay, so for this reason, the device can be influenced by external ferrous materials in piping, fittings, or other, even another meter installed close by, because the magnetic field of the other meter with its magnetic float could actually influence the, the two meters can influence each other. Okay, so make sure that uh, when you do your installation that your electrical conduit is not a ferrous material and also make sure that your meters are installed at least 18 inches apart. Okay, for wiring, internally the inductive sensors come pre-wired to the terminals. So what you have is uh, you will have your 3809 with your alarms and this little terminal is pre-wired. Okay, so here we go. A blue and brown wire to each of the relays or the uh, sensors. And these are polarity sensitive. So the brown wire is your positive, the blue is the negative. You're going to field wire your, your uh, amplifier relay to these terminals. Okay, if you do not wire this properly as far as polarity, so you get your blue and your brown cross. You won't damage anything, but the device will not trip or trigger. So you, you, your alarms are not going to work if your polarity is wired incorrectly. Okay, the, uh, this PNF relay, it supplies a, an 8 volt DC voltage to the inductive sensor. Okay, then the sensors will output a signal that ranges from 0.5 milliamps to about 3.5 milliamps. So when the flow changes and the pointer moves, a, a flag is moving through the sensor, okay? And as it goes through there, the, that's the trip point, and that's a switching point of roughly 1.8 milliamps, okay? Sometimes the phys this physical alarm flag does not perfectly line up with the trigger point. Um, the alarm can be repositioned using a slotted screwdriver. Uh, if you monitor your output value, you can adjust the alarm position to trip as needed.